Hey everybody, it's Scott and Bill from QA1 here. Um, we're just here to talk about some of our new Mustang parts, uh, one of which is this brand new K-member we uh, just released. So, Bill, what's new with the K-member? These K-members are specific to your 79 through 04 cars, so your Fox body and your SN95 variations. We make this K-member right here in Lakeville, Minnesota. And the metal that we use is actually a HSLA, which is a high strength, low alloy uh, steel, which makes it uh, very light for its strength. It allowed us to use a thinner walled thickness in all these tubes to make the K-member just as strong as a, you know, like a, a thicker metal, um, but really light. This whole K-member weighs about 25 pounds and that's including these engine mounts. These engine mounts are actually bolt-on pieces. They can come off, so if you do want to do a Coyote engine or an LS engine or who knows what engine you'd want to put in your Mustang, this gives you at least easier places to fabricate to. Sometimes, you know, uh, power steering racks, those get in the way uh, when you're putting different motors in, in different chassis. So yep. I know we've kind of come up with a little bit of a solution there for people. Do you want to yeah. talk about that? Yep, we've got what you see here. This is a stainless steel insert. Um, this piece can be installed like that or like that. So you can, you've got about three quarters of an inch to an inch of movement if you're getting really serious about auto crossing or anything like that and you want to customize your steering geometry, you can use that to tune how your car steers, um, how the bump steer characteristics are, and, and you can kind of, it's just another level of adjustability that you can have. You know, you, you hear about people using these K-members for drag racing all the time, but you just mentioned autocross. Talk about the geometry of, of how this is set up. Can, I, can you use your factory arms with it? Yes, yep, you can use your factory arms with it. Um, you can also use our control arms with polyurethane bushings or control arms with a uh, rod end style mount. One of the drawbacks of lowering a car that was designed to be a stock height is that you change what's called the roll center and all of a sudden your control arms are gonna tip down like that. When your control arms tip down like that by moving the, the chassis mounts down, it's actually going to help induce body roll even more. So it's not going to plant the outside tire as well as, as it maybe did when it was stock. However, it looks cool because it's low and it, it, it feels a little tighter because it's the center of gravity. So what we've done here is actually move this location where the control arms mount, we've moved it up. So that corrects the loss of roll center uh, movement that you get when you lower one of these cars. Um, this is designed to keep the wheel in the factory location. So if you are running a big set of, you know, 17, 18 inch wheels and tires, you're not gonna run into these issues of rubbing the front fenders or rubbing the front bumper with your tires when you turn anything like that. So um, it's very, very versatile. These K-members are for coilover only. There are no provisions for a factory style spring that would go like right around in here. Like Scott mentioned, you can use your factory control arms with them, but you cannot use a factory style spring, so you do have to go to a coilover. What if I don't have a coilover um, type system right now, but I want, I want this, I want the coilovers, um, I want to upgrade some of my arms, what, what kind of options are there? We do have full vehicle kits all available for um, Mustangs from 79 all the way up to 2014. And these K-members are included in both the level two and level three handling kits, as well as the level two drag kits. Depending on what you, car, what you want your car yeah, to do and what, what it's used for. Yeah, how far you want to go with it. Yeah. We do have coil sleeve kits that won't hit the wallet quite as hard as going to a full purpose-built coilover. What about headers with this? Do you get increased header clearance with moving to a more of a tubular style yep. K-member? Yep. Yeah, you, there's a lot more room in something like this than there is with a factory K-member. So, you know, if you've got a real high horsepower drag car or something that you want really big, giant, long tube headers, there's plenty of clearance here. All right, uh, well that's it. So if you have any other questions, visit us online at qa1.net or give us a call.